Ooh, ooh, boy. Yo, first of all, everybody, I want to say what's up, man. This is none other than Rob right here. If you Vanilla Ice, um, he just came in from MGM Grand last night, um, Vegas, no sleep, doing a show in Mansfield, throwing love back to uh, his local area, and we're blessed with being able to have an interview with him today. So. Uh, First of all, man, thank you, homie. Showing us love, saving us change, getting in, talking about VIP, and man, I, dude, I'm stoked to be here. Um, before we get started, yo, the reason that we're oh, passionate about interviewing him right now is show this 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 hatchet tattoo he's got on his leg. Look right here. For ever, all the the new Juggalos that don't know, this this is down ass Juggalo. This is faded ass tattoo. He's been down longer than we've been down, if you understand what I'm saying. It's all family, man. It's all family. What we want to do is, is try to show the love that he's been giving through the years. You know, um, yeah, so just, that's the only one that's the only one. Pause, pause, the background sound, you know so, how it works. Yeah, you know how that goes. But I want to know for the community's sake, how long have you been down with the hatchet? And how long have you been repping? What does it mean to you to be a juggler? Man, it's family. It's a subculture. It's not even fans. It's something else that's taken over a life of its own. And it goes real deep, you know? With each clown representing people's characters and whatnot now. I mean, it's, it's taken on a life of its own, man. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to be a part of it. But, uh, you know, more than that, it's a brotherhood. And, uh, you know, everywhere I go, it's Juggalos, man. You know, I just did this new song with ICP, Mikey Clark, Violent J. Uh, it's ridiculous, it's called Born on Halloween. And, uh, you know, I've also did Forgotten Freshness 4. Uh, you know, yeah, exactly. So, you know, been doing a lot of stuff, even did uh, the wrestling with them out in Cleveland. My staple dollar bills to Pondo's head. Oh, yeah. man. So, you know, it goes back, man. And, uh, you know, I got people from here to Russia, the Juggalos, man, who come out man. everywhere and represent, you know, and that's what's up. All right. So as far as how long have you been down, man? How long? Uh, how long have you actually been down? Man, I've been down since way back in the, in the beginning, man. Uh, I, you know, I didn't know anybody as far as personally, right. and uh, I was approached by, you know, Jay, and he said, "Hey, man, you know, I went to uh, Detroit, hung out with him, met the whole family, did the whole deal, and really started picking up on it. You know what I mean?" Right. Um, and that's when I, I started to be like, you know what, this is mad love, mad respect. These guys really give me a lot of love. Family I've, love. I've played like, I don't know how many gatherings now. In 2001, was that your first? That was one of my questions for later. No. No, you were the original? Oh, yeah. 2000. Absolutely. And I played, uh, I played, um, Halloween okay. tour as well. So, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's just, man, it's all a bunch of good guys having a good time, man, and respecting each other. And you don't want to cross the lines with us, but I tell you what, I got an army out here and they're bigger than any freaking soldiers woo, woo. Every, woo, woo. ever in the world you ever see. Yeah. I mean, bigger than any fraternity numbers, any college. That's what I'm wanting to put out, that's what I want people to understand. That's the reason that we're here is because this isn't something new. He hasn't been down for a minute. He's been, you know, he's been down since the beginning, you know, and that's what, for me, curiosity was. Family. Family, y'all. I mean, there's one that you don't see that's not hatchet, you know, that's family. That's what it's about right there. You know, and um, and so like upon me, I've been I've been a very big fan of yours forever. That's why I wanted to come do this to let our community to know, you know, how long you've been out and that it is a genuine thing. As far as born on Halloween, very early. Happy birthday to you, sir. Thanks, man. Appreciate born on Halloween for real. What's the significance with that, other than the obvious title? Um, have you been thinking about this for a while, or where did born on Halloween come from? You know what it did. I've been, uh, I got an idea because of uh, This Is Halloween, Tim Burton, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what, I love all this stuff. In fact, we get some tattoos, Tim Burton tattoos and stuff, Nightmare Before Christmas and all that. Damn. I love yeah. the entire Halloween thing, man. I got creeps and goblins and clowns and spooks, tattoos all over my back. So I'm all about, you know, yeah. the wicked stuff. And, uh, you know, I think it goes, you know, it's my house even. It's decorated like a, a crazy haunted house. My, my, my neighbors think I'm crazy. I got smoke machines going off and loud chains. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. So, well, go I live on Halloween. You see my set? I, I do this every night. This ain't just because it's tonight and it's Halloween. I know you do this every night. I bring I've Halloween there, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, every time I've seen my you, that's the same is Halloween. So I, I thought I felt it was appropriate to make the song about it. Correct. And, uh, and I pitched the idea and I told, uh, I told Mikey Clark, 
we produced it, you know. And we've been trying to do something together for years. But like, but, but I have this is no question that I have planned. Tell us about Mikey. Is he not a cool ninja? He is a cool ninja man <laughs> yeah. and a super talented cat. And he is just down with clowns. Like man. busy man. He knows what he's got going on. Uh, you know, it, it all falls together when he lays it down, dude. It's, it's masterpiece for sure. Yeah. Um, as far as the track itself, did y'all do that? Um, were you in the studio physically together, or was that something that was uh, no? This one here, completely virtual. Yeah, yeah. It's good. that's the way we can do it these days because you know both of us got busy schedules and when, to, when the time frame calls, you got to put things together. And I think it's great because you know we can do things over we the can telephone. Do it now like that. Well, I'm sitting there listening over telephone, going, "Man, raise the snare up." I like <laughs> yeah. that, bro. More 808 up in there. Hey, put the man hit him in the chest with that 808. You know, he's like, "Yeah, feel that." Put them keyboards in there, you know, and we can just send it back and even emails. It's ridiculous, but. Yeah. Uh, you can do the vocals in uh, Detroit, and I did mine in Miami. So it's like you know, if if uh, as far as like um, it, the whole uh, desire of yours to work with psychopathic, um, like I know that you said Jay invited you into it, but there had to have been some sort of appeal for as much as you've done for you to decide that yeah, I do want to mess with these guys. You know, this is what I want to. You know, what is it? Was it Jay? Was it what Shaggy? it is is that that these guys basically pulled me through the trenches. Yeah. If that makes any sense to you. That's humble. You heard that. He said, See, yeah. I had a weekend that lasted a few years, man. And, you know, you think of, I didn't know what my purpose in life was, where I fit in, right? Uh, and you think of, like, uh, Britney Spears, she shaves her head, right? Uh, it's hard, you know? I did I say when I was 16, bro? 16, and what, what came out at 20 or something? Or what? It came out when I was 19, 19 on uh, EMI Records, but I did the whole Ice T and Stetson Sonic, Sir Mix a lot. I was on tour with them. I was the opening act for the opening act for the opening act. Right. And it was dope. And I didn't care. I had 15 minutes, and that was a, I was making it something from it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, they helped me come through the trenches, man. Yeah. As far as as far as your future with them, is there any kind of future um, that you could lead on if there's anything in the works with Psychopathic? There's all I kinds of things in works with Psychopathic, man. And it, it comes down to you know brotherhood and friendship and, and love, man. And they give me a lot of love, and I give them a lot of love. And the Juggalos, which I am one, you know, I don't say the Juggalos like because yeah, you're just explaining. That's how I do. I own True Juggalo Family, and yeah. that's what we say. Right. You know, the Juggalos when we're explaining exactly. to someone. So if you don't know the Juggalos, us, the family. A lot of people don't really get it. You know, they don't really understand how deep it really goes. It goes, you know, it, like I said, it took on a life of its own. It's deeper than just even ICP, which is, it is a revolver around ICP, but it's, it's, it's the most loyal, I don't want to say fans, because it ain't fans. You get to be on a fan, it's, it's deep for people to understand. They, 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 they can't grasp it until you're a part of it, but what they don't understand is just as yourself. You're talking about CBS, uh, the Lopez Show, Jay Leno, I mean, I mean, like the do-it-yourself network, the yeah. car law, and hey, what, my, my I've been out for six months, right? Yeah. And and TrueDougalofamily.com. You see what I'm saying? Is that not the family? With, with you know, I represent where I go, man, and that's how we do it. You know, I make sure that I, I pop that in there if I can, you know, anywhere, any place, just because. Uh, you know, I'm a juggler for life, man. It's loyalty, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a, yeah, it's not like you can't get out. It's you don't want out. I mean, yeah. um, we've heard you do um, a cover of Southwest View a time or two. Man, is there any way we would ever hear that in the studio here? A real cut of that? That's a good question. Oh, that'd be nice. I performed it live with him a few times. I popped out on some shows with ICP around the country. It's been insane, man. I just come out and just drop. Yeah, it's so awesome. But, uh, um, let me you never know, man. Hey, the future's wide open. Yesterday's history, tomorrow is history. <laughs> no, no catch on that. As far as WTF, uh, a lot of people think they know what it means. Uh, I can explain the acronym or if you want to. What does it mean to you yourself? WTF can stand for what the fuck or, or wisdom, tenacity, and focus, which is basically what, it, what we got in them. That way we can sell it in Walmart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there it is. All right, that's what I wanted. That answer to the question. That's some good shit right there. Yeah, that's the the, the truth. Um, OKS was an insane poetry song that you've done. Um, what led you to to want to do an insane poetry song? The uh, insane poetry. Uh, I I had a did a record way back in the day with Rodney O and Joe Cooley, one of the greatest DJs ever to DJ on the planet. And I met a whole bunch of people from Egyptian Lover back when I used to break dance and all these guys popped in on the scene and 
And uh, this cat is a, is a loyal friend of mine that I've known for a long time. Slept on my couch, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And uh, so I wanted to, you know, kind of. He's a West Coast, real, real deal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, true. True, true. Real. Everything he says is real. And uh, you know, he's he, he's a. I don't know what you want to call it, man. Kind of a hermit, kind of a, um, a drifter, right. kind of a gypsy. Yeah. Yeah. But super, super talented, man. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, showcase. Well, let showcase me, him. So that was what it's all about. Let me uh, get this wrapped up. I know you've got to go on. I just want to tell you, thank you for everything that you've done, man. Give us pleasure, time. bro. I know you're a busy man, and uh, time, man. yo, that's what it's about, guys. That's what I wanted to tell y'all. True Juggalo family. There's your Juggalo right there. Whoop, whoop, homie. That's how we do it. Whoop, 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 whoop.